Hi, this is Steve Sandweiss, owner and founder of Sandweiss Test Prep, speaking to you today from the beautiful University of Washington campus to answer some of the most commonly asked questions regarding SAT subject tests. What are they? When are they offered? How are they scored? What's a good score? Who needs to take them? And how to best prepare for them? First off, let's start with the basics. What are the SAT subject tests? Back when I was in high school, they were sometimes referred to as SAT twos, but today everyone refers to them as SAT subject tests. These are a series of one hour, multiple choice exams in a variety of high school academic subjects. The tests are offered in US history, world history, literature, math, chemistry, biology, physics, and about nine different foreign languages. Next, when are the SAT subject tests offered? You have the opportunity to take SAT subject tests six times during the academic year, October, November, December, January, May, and June. You may not take SAT subject tests on the same day that you take the regular SAT exam. Most students take SAT subject tests in either May or June of junior year or in October or November of senior year. At Sandweiss Test Prep, we encourage all students to try to finish their testing before the end of junior year. So if possible, we encourage you to take your SAT subject tests in either May or June. This is right around the time of AP exams, and since the content of many SAT subject tests is very similar to what's tested on the multiple choice portion of a number of AP exams, it makes sense to take your SAT subject tests in the spring of junior year. Next, how are the SAT subject tests scored? They're scored on the same scale as the regular SAT exam, from 200 to 800, with 800 being a top score. Most schools are looking for applicants to submit scores that are at least in the high 600s, if not the 700s. Now comes the most complicated question. Who needs to take SAT subject tests? Some of the most highly selective schools in the country, those with admission rates generally lower than about 30%, will require applicants to submit a minimum of two SAT subject tests. Other colleges may recommend SAT subject tests or consider them. Obviously, if you're applying to any schools that require the subject tests, you'll need to submit two exams. For those colleges that either, quote, recommend or consider SAT subject tests, we would certainly encourage you to submit your scores if they are strong scores. Now, this is further complicated by the fact that there are some colleges that will allow applicants to substitute the ACT with writing for SAT subject tests. Not all colleges allow this, however, so it's very important that you check the exact requirements of the various schools that you're interested in. For an up-to-date list of the schools that either require, recommend, or consider SAT subject tests, please look at the list on our website. One other reason to potentially submit SAT subject tests is if you receive a poor grade in a course in which you are normally a strong student. This is an easy way for you to demonstrate your proficiency in a subject, even if your academic transcript does not quite indicate your strength in that discipline. Many students ask, which SAT subject tests should I take? Generally, schools that ask applicants to submit SAT subject test scores do not have a preference regarding which tests you take. However, if you are applying to a STEM field, either in science, technology, engineering, or mathematics, we would strongly recommend that you submit the SAT subject test for the Math 2 exam, not the Math 1, definitely the Math 2, and perhaps one of the science subjects. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter which two exams you submit. Finally, how do I best prepare for SAT subject tests? Here at Samwise Test Prep, we offer you the opportunity to take free diagnostic exams in order to determine which SAT subject tests are best suited for you. Each diagnostic exam is only one hour in length, and after you complete your diagnostics, we will score and evaluate your responses and recommend which tests we think you should prepare for. If your diagnostic scores indicate that you would need some tutoring, we have a number of excellent tutors that can help you in virtually every subject test area. Thank you very much.